And that is exactly what um, <clears throat> the people within PTAC who blew the whistle themselves said, listen, this is, we're not shipping, you know, anything. If, we're, if what is being smuggled out of here is not going to be drugs or whatever, it's going to be blueprints. And it's going to be, um, you know, things like diamonds in which you settle. That's the currency of money laundering. And given Yasin Khadi's um, affiliation with the diamond business in South Africa, the blood diamonds, that is exactly what they they suspected were were, were being shipped. Mm-hmm. So it was definitely um, a key part of um, how they coordinated their activities um, in in for Iraq. Uh, there is no question that these ties go right back to the neocons, to um, <clears throat> to the Bush administration, to the people within the Bush and the, and the Clinton administration. Who we find popping up um, through through uh, our, our nation scandal. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> um, when when. We saw the Babylon. I took this to some of the experts in um, who were expert money launderers, uh, experts in, in, in worldwide terrorism and narco terrorism, and in um, in money laundering to support terrorist activities. And um, their interpretation of it was 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 very significant. They agreed totally. And I and I said, you know, to one of them, uh, I said, don't you see that this indicts the entire um, Bush administration and, and the neocon cabal that seems to be, you know, part of the, the, the larger um, group? And um, they didn't say anything. They were absolutely, you know, they, they, they felt that they had, they had honed in and zeroed in on the, on the Muslim Brotherhood and yet at the same time honed in on the plan to invade Iraq. Yeah. Uh, Indira, hold that thought. we got to take the news break, okay? When we come back, yes. we'll continue. Excellent work, by the way. Thank you. Uh, and I'm hoping that uh, getting this information out is going to inspire, uh, you know, uh, good men and women in law enforcement to look deeper into this, uh, into this situation and get this stuff brought out and get the people responsible prosecuted, you know? Anyway, we'll take the news break. We'll come back, okay? Okay. Thank you. Indira Singh is my guest. Continue with this edition of a closer look, and again, uh, we're talking with Indira Singh, and uh, we're going to go back to her in just a moment. I just want to let you folks know that um, currently we're not opening the lines yet. Uh, she's got a lot of ground to cover, and uh, what we will do today, at some point uh, during the uh, during the interview, is we will open lines in case anybody has any comments or questions for her uh, about this incredible story. And as I've said before, this story uh, is something that it, it has culminated. Uh, from several years of intense research, uh, she uh, herself had a, um, uh, you know, was involved as far as uncovering the P-TECH connection, which, of course, is turning out to be very significant. Uh, and more importantly, in her research, she has, uh, you know, it's, it's taken her to some very, very interesting places where she has uh, been able to connect dots. And as we've said before, you know, when you look at what's going on in the national news, for example, at some point we're going to be talking about the nomination of Harriet Myers uh, and what that has to do with all of this, or the, I'm sorry, the uh, Plain Gate uh, situation. You know, this is all connected uh, at a, a sub rosa level uh, and connected to some very, very high people in our government and beyond. And, uh, and, of course, when you start to contemplate where this all goes and what this is all about, it becomes quite frightening and it becomes quite uh, dire that we need to be paying attention here and understand what's going on and, uh, you know, demand justice uh, for uh, several thousands of people 
uh, that were murdered innocently in the shenanigans that this cabal is playing with all of us. And uh, it goes even beyond that. I mean, we're talking about the literal sovereignty of this country. We're talking about your freedom, my freedom. We're talking about the whole thing as it relates to what this criminal cabal is up to. Welcome back, Indira. And again, thank you for coming out on the program today. Thank you, Michael. Okay, let's jump back to where we were before we went to the news break, and uh, we'll pick it up there, okay? Okay. Now, we have um, this code name, um, this project code name, Babylon, um, operating out of uh, the PTEC uh, money laundering smuggling um, uh, cutouts fronts in, in Braintree. And um, the one that is of interest uh, at this point is Geneva Capital Corp., which is uh, connected with a, a Kalazad in on Wall Street. <clears throat> now, when I was investigating this, a couple of Houston attorneys um, uh, I was in contact with them, and I'll uh, leave it to the listeners' imaginations who they might be. And um, uh, they brought to my attention um, that there, that um, Gor- Gorbanifor, who was involved with the Plamegate um, uh, uh, situation, <clears throat> well, uh, when Iran Contra hit about the time uh, Fawn and Ali North uh, um, were shredding their papers, the um, uh, Gorbanifor was uh, Gorbanifor, the Iranian arms dealer with connections to the Mossad, was in his office in Switzerland. And um, in the same building <clears throat> that he was in was another company called Potomac Capital. And Potomac Capital is extremely significant. And when I started making connections between what these companies, Geneva Capital, Potomac Capital, and all these other um, cutouts and fronts had in common, <clears throat> I was warned that I'm into the brain and soul of the quote-unquote modern evil kingdom, so be um, very careful. Mm-hmm. So this is coming to me from people really uh, who basically are ex contra operatives who are pretty ticked off at where this country is going. Yeah. And... Um, and telling me that I'm on the right track. Well, anytime somebody tells me I'm on the right track, I always think I'm not. But in this case, I was. <clears throat> now, this gets back to um, what, what, is all, what are all these, uh, you know, alphabet soup and, and myriads of names and cutouts and what does that, what does it all mean? You yeah. know, you can't keep track of it and people have got enough on their minds just, you know, making a living these days. Well, basically what it comes back is what, to what, some what a what a very good reporter, um, New York reporter, called discovered is the layer of the octopus. Now the octopus was something that Danny Castellaro, who investigated Promise, was had called. He had excitedly told people that he had discovered this thing, this evil thing that 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 um, uh, was really running the show, and he called it the octopus. So here it is in September 2001, after 9/11, and this. Um, Hmm. reporter, investigative journalist in New York, um, this writes an article saying he's discovered that the lair of the ocup- uh, octopus is the OECD, which is basically the um, the uh, a, a grouping of European Union and USA banks and government, which he discovered were the king of money laundering worldwide. Now, do you know what the o- what does the OED stand for? The OECD, you know, um, it is basically a consortium of um, European and uh, and and uh, U.S. banks, and I I forgot what the acronym really okay. means because I've been using it for so long. It's been one of those where you you just take it for granted. The Organization of Economic something or something. Okay. Um, but it's a it's a it's a an organization that includes the European Union and USA banks and governments. And um, they're basically the kings of money laundering worldwide. And the sole purpose of the Cabal's group in, in running that is to, um, is to um, fund the age of terror, the new economy of terror. And if you think that that's conspiracy, read Loretta Napoleone's book, Modern Jihad. And she's done 30 years of research into it. She's Italian, by the way, and um, knows from where she speaks. Um, basically, he just uh, tied together um, the narco-terrorism, the nexus of narco-terrorism and, um, and, uh, and 
um, money money laundering through a myriad of fronts, a hierarchical connection of, of fronts, and the fronts uh, do that are significant are the ones such as Geneva Capital and Potomac Capital, and um, of course all of the um, offshore. Um, houses on the Isle of Man, the Cayman Islands, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Every time we look into this, it goes back to the same dirty group of people, which involve Cheney, who pretty much runs these operations in Nigeria, uh, and as well as other places, Vanuatu, um, which shows up in the Bush family connections, the Philippines, the Philippine gold and money that they, was looted and brought through a covert um, funding channel called Five Star. And that all came out. Um, interestingly enough, uh, the CIA members of the CIA got really upset after the, the uh, you know, the, the Valerie plane was outed and all of those good guys got killed. And they validated a number of things for me um, regarding that. Um, and it just goes on and on and on. Um, <clears throat> so basically. The Mayor of the Octopus, according to Christopher Byron, and uh, the article came from Belize, uh, no less, mm -hmm. um, was the OECD. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what th this is this is an unholy web. It's so entangled. It's it, it, it's so hidden. Um, by the time one researcher gets any traction on any of this. The name, they get wind of it, the names are changed, they shut down and it pops up somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And it's been a game of catch me if you can for 50 years. Yeah, it's like a shell game. It's a shell game. Yeah. And it's, and, and that's a very interesting word because what Loretta, um, said, what, uh, her, her thesis was, and she proved, she proves it is that we're no longer countries. We're nothing more, we're run by terrorist shell organizations. And the, the pattern of the shell organization always has someone in the Bush crime family cabal right. in, involved with it. The same pattern of um, looting, um, the same money laundering uh, conduits. Um, for instance, the one that um, uh, the, right now I think is very interesting that Flamegate is um, – being uh, trotted out because we know nothing is going to happen there. Right. Even if they got Rove, Rove is not a, a, a political figure. He was not an elected official. He's, he's just a civilian who occupies a, a notoriously and, and dangerously high level role in the White House and controls a lot of policy. He's not elected. So they're not going to get to, to uh, he, they're never going to get to the people at the top of this. Um, they might get some of the foot soldiers, but you know uh, they, they'll be slapped on the wrist, and that'll be that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but basically, um, the, the the looting that has happened in this country, um, starting with the SNLs even before that, the assassinations, the the, the shameful um, incidents, Iran Contra, and um, and BCCI and so on and so on. These were opportunities for Americans to wake up and notice that the same names were involved and get very worried. At this point, it is possibly too late um, <clears throat> because uh, the whole um, blueprint for the, this age of terror is based on terrorist shell states, which involve the same people, the, the same money laundering fronts, the same looting crimes, which is now global, and um, the same disenfranchisement of um, the ordinary civilian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, one of the things that um, <clears throat> that we want to do is, at this point, stop playing the catch-me-if-you-can game. Right. And um, uh, because if... If you if you take a look at at what really is going on, another um, you mentioned before another smoke uh, smoke signal was the Harriet Myers uh, nomination. Right. Well, Harriet Myers knew all along that she was not going to be serious about it because she never even filled out her papers the the the, the papers that they sent you to fill in so that they can do an investigative background. Right. She had absolutely no intention. She has been. Um, you know, basically uh, changing diapers for W since he got into trouble with the Texas Air National Guard, mm -hmm. and she's been playing, you know, clean up and cover up there.